Good morning, friends. Daniel tested for the worship of one true God. He was tested for that. And in the time of test, he stood the test. What did God do? After it looked like the chips down for him, as we would say. And they didn't know what to do. They was going to feed him to the lions. But Daniel stayed true to the test of theirs, one true God. Amen. And he possessed the gate of his enemy. God closed the mouth of the lion. Moses stayed true to the promised word before the false impersonators, Jambres and Jambres, in the test. Look, God had met him as supernatural. Told him to go do these things, show these signs, and each sign would have a voice. Moses went right down this as true as he knows. He throwed down the sticks and it turned into a serpent. You know what happened? Here come the impersonators and done the same thing. Now Moses didn't throw up his hands and say, well, I guess it's all wrong. He stayed there and waited on God. He stayed true. No matter how many impersonators there was, he stayed true. And when he stayed true to his commission to bring those people out of that place, when the water gate got in his way, God let him possess it, and he opened the gate by the pillar of fire that was leading him. He took the people on to the promised land. Joshua, another great leader, only two out of went to the promised land, Joshua and Caleb. They came to a place called Kadesh, which was the center of the world at that time, and so much that uh, that was a judgment seat. And all they sent out 12 spies to look at the land. And 12 of them come back. Ten of them thought, oh, it's too much of a job. We just couldn't do it. Well, then people, we look like grasshoppers to the side of them. But what did Joshua do? He still the people. He said, wait a minute. We're more than able to take it. No matter how little we are, how much in the minority, what was he doing? He was standing true to that promise. I'll give you this land. But you fight every inch of it. You believe that, Mother? God's give you your healing, but you'll fight every inch of it. Ever where the soles of your feet set, that I give you for possession. Footprints means possession. It's all yours. Every promise belongs to you, but you'll fight every inch of the way in and out. Now, Joshua knew what God said. He was the seed of Abraham. He said, I believe that, that God give us the land and we're more than able to take it. And because he stood the test against the whole group of Israelites, all the tribes and all the people born and cried, Joshua said, keep still. God made the promise. No matter how big you are and what the opposition is and what the doctor says, God gave the promise. It's up to God to do it. What did he do? When he come down to the river of Jordan, he possessed the gate. That's what he, he did. Jericho closed up like a turtle in a shell. What did he do? He possessed the gate. Even one day, when his enemy was trying to take him, he possessed the gate of his enemy so much that he commanded the sun to stand still. And the sun obeyed him and never turned for 24 hours. God's true to his promise no matter what he has to do. Bankrupt the heavens before he let his word go to Jesus. Never made a promise that he can't keep. I'm the Lord, heals all that is Jesus. If you lay hands on the sick, they shall recover. Amen. If thou canst believe, all things are possible. You are in my perfect will. Keep playing those tapes. I'm coming for you.